Right guys, this is part two of the uh, books that I use. I'm trying to uh, give you a little idea of what you can buy in uh, the way of books to help ID fungi. Uh, these are just the ones that I use. Uh, there are other books out there, of course. Um, there are some very, very expensive books out there for those budding young mycologists who want to know everything there is to know about uh, mushrooms and uh, the mycelium and cell structures and things like that. There is lots of books out there like that. But to me, these are just books for to help me ID. Uh, I don't use Latin names, as a lot of you know. I just use the common names that I've been brought up with. Um, a lot of books have both. They have the Latin name and the common name. I mean, all books have the Latin name. Uh, some miss out on the common names of some, but we can all learn. I just find it easier to use the common names. It's hard enough trying to learn all the fungi that I, that I spot uh, with a common name as it is, let alone trying to remember all the Latin names. But I guess um, the more you get into it, the more you start learning. There are certain ones that I know Latin names of, but I uh, prefer that's just me, I, that's my preference. I just prefer to use the common everyday names that everybody knows of. So let's go into part two, shall we guys? And uh, show you a few more of the books that I use. Right, the next book is definitely one of my favorites. Um, Elsa Wood and John Dunkelman um, wrote this book it's a lovely book all about grassland fungi and it is just about grassland fungi it's not uh, there's no woodland uh, fungi in there so for me who's someone who likes to go on sheep uh, pastures and stuff to find wax caps and and things like that this is a great book it's a really good book um, I think this is yeah it's the second edition uh, it covers, I think it would probably cover every uh, grassland fungi as in mushroom and the corals and earth tongues um, and it's got a huge selection of wax caps and cone caps in here so which are very common as we all know on grassland but um, all the bonnets all the pink gills, it really is, or as you can see, it's got lovely pictures in there, really nice uh, photographs. It, again, it's not anything to do with edibles, it's not telling you which you can eat, which you can't eat. So, um, if you're looking for something like that, this is not the book for you, but if you want to know what all those tiny little uh, brown mushrooms are that you see growing in the grass everywhere, then this is the one you want to get. As I say, it's it's got everything in it, and it really does show you some great photographs. I mean, everything from glistening, common glistening wax caps, common wax caps, uh, ink caps... Weeping willow, widows, everything you can imagine. Blue roundheads. It just has a whole page with more than one picture, more than one photograph. And they are really good photographs for each fungi. So if it comes down to grassland, you need this book. You really do need this book. It was, I think, 1999. Worth every penny to me. Um, it really does cover everything you're going to find on uh, pasture land, meadows, things like that. And it is a great book, I promise you. You would not be disappointed with this book. Not always easy to find. Um, I have seen it on eBay odd times. So you can get it second hand here and there. I don't know how much that would cost you. I bought mine new. Um, so it's quite old, as you can see. It's well used. But uh, for someone who likes wax caps and things like that, then this is your book because it has a huge, huge selection of wax caps. Everything you can imagine. Every wax cap there is around the British UK um, grassland, you'll find in this book. And uh, as I say, 
lots of photos for every single one. So a great book in my eyes. Mm, to me, probably my second favourite book of that I own. So and gets used a lot, especially in the autumn when I'm walking on the sheep pastures, and I'm finding all those all those really hard to figure out what they are, little brown mushrooms that all look the same. But yeah, great book. Right, now this is uh, a really, really good book. This is a guy's from uh, Wild Food UK. This is their latest book. The first book they brought out was uh, about foraging. It had, half of it was mushrooms and the other half was all um, wildflowers, plants, berries tree leaves etc what you could eat but uh, they bought this out this year uh, or it might have been the end of last year and it is absolutely fantastic it is a brilliant book and it's Marlowe and Eric uh, that have wrote it from Wild Food UK um, and it is basically all about edible mushrooms again like the first book I showed you I mean, this has got some fantastic photos in, and every mushroom has got a double page spread with um, photos of uh, young examples, mature examples, show you the gills. I mean, it's, I think it's $14.99, I think. Yeah, $14.99 the book, and it is worth every penny. Um, it's got sort of getting on for 400 pages of it or well over 300 pages anyway but every mushroom has its own double page with great photos and that is important that you get to learn with good photographs because you really do need good photographs for uh, for edibles so learning your edibles because it as we said before it's very important um, they also show you all the poisonous ones um, and when it comes to the edibles it uh, also not only does it give you the normal information that you get in most books but it also tells you how to use them uh, it tells you which parts of the mushrooms are best cooked and the flavor uh, the texture the scent um, it really is good for those who want to start eating and gathering their own wild mushrooms you can't I don't think you can get a better book um, it's up there it's up there with uh, edible mushrooms these these two books are probably brilliant this this book on its own would do anybody just having this one book and let's be honest uh, 14.99 is not a, a very expensive is it nowadays for a book especially a book that's going to last you years and really can teach you a lot and also by having the book you're going to save money on buying mushrooms at the shop aren't you so you know you get you you're getting help in finding food for nothing basically um it really i mean one of the important things about this book is it tells you potential uh mistakes it tells you which lookalikes you might get for edibles and ones to keep well away from and how to check for them you know it, uh, checking gills and spore prints and things like that so it really is safety first with this book um, and if they tell you it's a very reliable edible then it usually is with these guys these guys have got years and years of experience on on foraging mushrooms and I'm telling you this book it's absolutely fantastic it really is good so if anyone's into edibles if you can't afford to buy edible mushrooms then this is the next one down in price but for value for money this is top of the league you're not going to get better value for money a great book mushroom foraging guide and it's by the guys from wild food uk so I can't say any more. It's just really is a good book. I can't, there's no faults. I can't pick any faults in the book. Um, it's a great book to carry with you, actually. 
take it with you. It's small enough, it's A5 size, so you can put it in your bag or rucksack or whatever if you're out. A very, very good book, I promise you. Right, finally, the last book I want to show you is The Collins Fungi Guide. Quite a common book, I think. Uh, a lot of people like the Collins collection of books. Um, there are lots of guides. I think they do uh, plant, wild plants, trees, all that sort of stuff. So very uh, popular books. Now, this is a big book. There's over 600 pages here. Um, I think it covers well over 2,000 species of uh, fungi. It costs 25 quid. Uh, so it's not a cheap book. Um, it gives you most basic information for the uh, fungi, but there's lots of fungi on one page. Um, and the worst, the only thing really that I find I don't like about it is its drawings. Now, I'd rather have photographs they're more realistic however good the drawings are you never get the colour right uh, and when it comes to fungi you really need to try and get it as best you can as nearest you can to the colour because it's very important an ID to ID uh, fungi properly because if you are someone who's um, foraging who's going to eat fungi you really want to know 100% sure what you're eating or what you're going to eat because if you don't know 100% that that is the right thing you just do not cook it you don't eat it full stop um, there's too many people ended up in hospital uh, by not checking thoroughly what they're going to about to eat so to me I'm disappointed that it's not photographs uh, it is illustra uh, illustrations and they are good but as I say I prefer photos I prefer to be 100% sure and there's also no mention of edibles or poisonous so I guess the book's not for that it was just for an ID book um, which is fair enough um, so if you're just out to ID mushrooms and just want to do that and we'll photograph or whatever or you're doing a video and you want to know the names of something or you find something in your garden and you and you don't know what it is then th this book is great it's fine but if you're um, a forager and you want to know what's poisonous and uh, what's edible then I would suggest this is not the book for you I'm afraid it is a nice it's a nice guide um, as I say, it just disappoints me that it's not photographs, it's drawings. Um, and I don't care what anyone says, the drawings are not as good as having a photograph. Some people will probably say it's rubbish and they are, and they're very good uh, drawings, so you can't go wrong. But to me, I, I guess I just prefer to be safe. Better safe than sorry. But overall, a very good book, big book. Um, I'm not sure about value for money. I mean, that's a lot of money. £25, look, £24.99 for, for a book that doesn't even tell you... doesn't even tell you if they're edibles or not. So, I don't know, I guess... I guess it's an A5 size, so it's, it'd be the sort of thing you could keep in your car if you go to the woods a lot, or you go to the forest and you're walking around, all you've got to do is maybe take a picture or pick a fungi and bring it home with you so there you go Collins Fungi Guide uh, 25 quid over 600 pages it covers over 2,000 species of fungi only disappointment for, for me is no photos it's drawings but some people like it that way but there you go so that's the final book well guys that's the end of the uh videos on what books I use basically 
Uh, I have got other books. Um, they're not as good. You know what it's like. Sometimes you buy a book and, and the write-up's really good about it, and when you get it, you're quite disappointed. So I have got other uh, smaller books that I don't really use, um, and I wouldn't recommend them to everybody. So I'm only recommending these um, because I use them myself. Uh, the only one really that I don't use is the Collins uh, book but it's uh, good to show people it because some people might prefer um, lots and lots and lots of drawings rather than less uh, photographs but to me as I said uh, photographs are more realistic to me and when it comes to fungi I want to make sure I want to make sure I know what I'm, I'm finding but uh, thanks for sticking with me. Um, as I said, two of my two favourites, I guess. Uh, the grassland one, because I love grassland fungi. So I love um, most of the most of the uh, wax caps because they're so beautiful. The colours um, also. The foraging, the guys from Wild Food UK's book, which is a really good book. Um, I really can't stress enough how good that book is. I, I'm, you can take it with you in your rucksack or in your bag if you're out in the, walking in the forests. Um, and it's got roughly, it's got most of the common uh, mushrooms that you're going to find, most of them. Um, some of the other books are really, if you find a mushroom that's really not something uh, that's very common, then they're the sort of books you want really. Uh, so Fascinated by Fungi is a really good one. And then you've got the big book by uh, Roger Phillips, which of course a lot of people swear by, but I just thought, I just, I guess I'm just a miserable old sod and I, I'm, I just moan a bit about the uh, colour of the photographs, but as I say, it's important to me to get those photographs right. Um, so that's why that's the only thing that puts me off of that book. I, I still use it because it's uh, really good for ID and it gives you so much information, and it gives you it covers far more uh, fungi, British fungi, than the other books do. So that is a good one. That really is a good book. But I hope I've, it's been of help for you. And I hope some of you are going to go out and buy yourself a book. Uh, or have a look at, if you go to the car boots or anything. It's Sunday after all. A lot of car boots on on a Sunday. Have a look, see if there's any uh, second-hand mushroom books about. Um, have a look on eBay. There's lots of ways you can get second-hand mushroom books and... Uh, because they are quite expensive. A lot of the books I've shown you are around the £20 mark. Um, the Collins book, I think it's £25. But um, there are some nice books, sort of between 10 and 15 quid, I suppose. So until then, you'll have to just look up on Google. Um, but it, it, I know it's everything's on Google nowadays, but when you've got a book, it's so easy to flick through the pages uh, to see if there's anything that looks like what you what you found. Um, if you find a if you find a fungi out in the forest and you put Google on, it's a bit of a job to if you don't if you haven't got any idea what the fungi is that you've found, it's a bit of a job to look it up, isn't it? You know. It's like trying to go to a dictionary and look a word up and you don't know what the word is. Um, so I find it sometimes easier just to have a book in front of you and flick through the pages until you recognise something that looks like it or gives you an idea of what family or species it is. So it's, it's good to have books. And it, that smell of buying a new book, you can't beat it, can you? Eh? That lovely smell of new printed book coming through the post. But there you go. So thank you guys. Thank you for staying until the end. Um, thank you for all the great comments. I uh, hope this has been helpful for you. I just thought it was something different. Um, and I'll try and do a few more different uh, videos rather than just uh, going walking out in the forest every week. So thank you guys. 
please please feel free to subscribe and like the more likes we get the more uh, YouTube will send uh, traffic our way to the channel so even if you just give a like it's really it really helps build the channel up so um, thank you for that and don't forget guys it's a lovely Sunday so get out there and uh, if you've got time or in the week in the evenings now still still long evenings up past nine time it's getting uh, dark now so uh, get out there guys and see what you can find and don't forget when you're out there keep your eyes open <laughs>